Natasuis, Travis, you two moms must be in the time of CPR. Natasuis and I, you two moms must be in the time of CPR. Can you tell us what you just said, please? Yeah, hi, my name is Travis and I live in Mashby. Hi, my name is Anaya and I live in Mashby. And today we're going to learn about Earl. Earl, Earl Mills. Good. Earl Flying Eagle Mills Sr., Chief. A traditionalist, but also a modern chief with a diverse background, the gregarious Mills brought education and a variety of outside experiences to his leadership role. A historian, an expert on all things Wampanoag, Mills epitomized the vast diversity of the Mashpee Wampanoag tribe, whose survival skills required an adeptness and balance between walking in the outside world while protecting and preserving unique tribal traditions. A renowned chief of traditional foods, a teacher, and entrepreneur, Mills continues to educate tribal members and friends about the significance of native tradition in today's world. Excellent, and as a historian, we have a book there, right, from Tim, written by him in our own Quashnet library. And maybe you guys are wondering what he's wearing. That's a headpiece people well, men will wear, when men and war. boys would wear when they go to war, and also what, men. yeah, and they also wear this now because there's no war at the powwow. So they do war dance. Yes, yeah, so, warrior dance. Um, so basically they have, Travis doesn't have his on today because his is too small, but, um, <laughs> yeah. so it's like it goes from here and then there's like like pieces like this just leather deer skin deer skin and they will hold like something like say like a small little like axe but it's not an actual axe it'd be made out of like wood no not wood it'd be made out of like rocks or a rock or something and then you would dance with it in your hand and you'll act like you're hitting someone. So you'll like bounce and then go like that. And also like, what we will do like that. We That's will, the best I could do. <laughs> <laughs> there will be a fire in the middle and the girls will have a shawl or mm -hmm. jingle jingle dress or um traditional which is what the boys wear, which is just deer leather. skin which is leather. And then, um, if you're wondering, why is there only two colors on there? Because that's the most colors we would wear. We would wear red, black, and do you know what other color? Red, black, and purple. Yes. Which is, there's a lot of red, black, black and purple no, on no there. Black. Well, there's no black, but there's brown, which really represents. And this is some sage black, which is used to keep all the bad spirits away. They would like light this as a sin. And they would light this actually when I just found out. They would light this at somebody's funeral sometimes too. And then um, sometimes to remember people, they will cut off the, a little piece of their hair. Oh yeah. And put it in the sage bag. Hmm. I had to do that. And I did that too. Mm -hmm. Oh. <laughs> and the flag, there's a big turtle on it because we really do believe in turtles, like a lot. Like those are like spiritual or, animals. Yeah, our spiritual animals. So that's why Travis has one on his and feathers, as you can see right there. Deer antlers. Deer antlers. We use that for many of things. We use yes. that. We use deer antlers as so like armor. armor. We use that. To make our so, like our weapons, you would use rocks, and then we hit the edge of them. But there's certain kinds of rocks. You would hit the edge of them, and you would create this sharp point, and then you would use the bottom of a uh, deer uh, antler and hit it easy, and the long chunks would come off. They would use the long extra pieces as like knives or like something to cut something with, and then they would form like a they, the weapon they would make is usually either a axe or 
would be a arrowhead. And deer antlers are really strong, so what they would do in war, they would have, um, not this, I have one, but it's like grass, but it's not really grass. So they will put it in the middle and they will tie knots in the middle and then have little strings down and then they will put, the, they would like make the deer skin like a bead like this long or maybe a little longer to cover up your chest so if you were to get hurt it would not hurt well it would hurt it would hurt but like not you would have a better chance on that not exactly and they would do that to their whole front their chest and their stomach yeah so earlier you were telling me the story about the turtle yes yeah what's that and so that's how we believe the the whole earth was the whole earth was made. We believe that a turtle once was like swim. There's multiple stories I heard, but the first story I ever heard was when so the turtle was swimming and then there was one girl that lived on there, which was, represents our creator, and they she would pick up the dirt. She would sometimes place it in the water and would make land in the back or on the side. And she ended up doing that all around, and then it just ended up creating the earth in one whole, one whole thing. And then the tides, the turtle, well not the tides, the turtle kept going, the turtle went on the land, and that's what represents our like lakes, our spots where land isn't very, very at. No, no. The feather, the hawk feather, represents a warrior. They would wear it on top of their heads, like that, and they like this. They would stick it into like a stick or something. No, they would stick it into their hair, like this with this piece of leather or something. No, like yeah, they would stick. And it then into they would make it like a mohawk almost. Yes. Like so then when they were like. Because they would dance and they would have drums and stuff when they're going. If they're on a hill and they don't see their heads, they would think it's a turkey. So if they're in war, they wouldn't usually shoot at the turkey when, while they're in war. So that's like their camouflage. Mm -hmm. So that's the feather, and then that plant is the three sisters. So the three sisters has squash, corn, and a type of bean. So it, the corn would be in the middle to stand tall, and the bean would be around it to not make it fall, and the squash would be right there to hold it steady. So the story to that is there was three sisters. They weren't close, and their hair started to combine into one braid. So then they turned into the three sisters. Wow. Thank you so much for sharing your culture with us today. You are teachers and we so appreciate that.